Butterflies and this video is going to be my May wrap up. So y'all, in May I only read three books which it's not bad at all because usually I read four so it's not bad. I, was, I missed it by one book. Oh my god. My god, get the holy water. But um, I had a pretty good reading month though last month. Even though I only read three books, it was pretty good. I, I, can't, I can't say I had a bad reading month. So that's a wonderful thing. I don't think this year yet I've had like a bad reading month. I at least have evened it out from bad to good reading. So I can't say I've had a bad reading month at all this year yet. Okay, so the first book that I read this month was Lumber Jane's The Complete Volume by Noelle Stevenson, which I read which I read in April. I read just the first one itself, just the first comic itself, but I actually went and got the whole volume from my library, and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. I really liked it. Like, actually having the whole volume, I had more to read and more to go by. It's good enough to where I would have, I can continue to read the second volume, which I saw at my library, so I know they have it. Um, I don't know if that's going to be the end of it, or if they have a third volume, I'm not sure. But I'm definitely going to go get the second volume the next time I go to the library, which is hopefully to return these three library books that I still have harboring on the bookshelf, which I haven't read. I've been, like, renewing the hell out of them. But, um, uh, excuse me. Um, I really enjoyed it. I still have some issues, like, character identity-wise. I have come to know a little more of the characters, but not in the sense of the, knowing their past. It's more of once, like, you know, when you start hanging out around somebody, you hung out with them enough to know, to kind of get the gist of them. I get the gist of the characters from reading about them, but I don't know any background on them. So that's still a thing that's in the back of my mind. And it is like this this crazy stuff going on. I'm like, what the hell is going on? What is the point of all of this? Like, people acting acting weird. So, hopefully it comes back to volume two. Uh, it'll put a rest to all of this. And I hope the ending makes sense. Like, all of this crazy stuff going on. I hope it makes sense. And it's not just a bunch of blah, blah, blah. Um, or I'm going to be pissed off. <laughs> But I really did enjoy it. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. It was okay. I, I, I did like it even though it was just okay. And I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars because I'm still missing these characters. I still don't feel like I don't know the characters. Another thing I found wrong, it's not a big thing. It's just something I noticed. Are these supposed to be girls or grown women? Because I would guess it was girls since they're at a camp. But... Like looking at the picture, like looking at the pictures of them and like the graphics and how they're made, they kind of look like grown women. They don't look like children. They don't look like teenagers. They look like grown women. So I don't know. Clear it up for me. This is supposed to be like an adult camp or like a kids camp. The next book that I got is The Wicked Walt by I don't know the name. I don't know how to say the name. I'm gonna just put it up here because I I'm not gonna hurt myself. Hold on. Okay, so <laughs> this is a book that I got from the author. He actually contacted me like under one of my videos and asked if I wanted to read it. If I if I wanted to read it to review. And I was like, oh, alright, sure. It's a book that was already out. It's not something that, you know, that hadn't came out yet. It was something that, that was already out. I gave it a two and a half out of five stars. I really wanted to like it more. I really did. But I, I just I didn't like it. Like from the title you would assume it's going to be mostly like it's going to just be all witch stuff I mean, I house all for that I love like reading books like centered around witchcraft because you know it's, it's going to be magical it's going to be something to talk about you know it makes your mind like wonder but it's just a lot of things just thrown vampires were thrown in the mix I just I didn't I didn't need the vampires that that's really what put it downhill for me when I saw vampire the word itself and I was like I did not want to hear vampires. I didn't want to hear anything about wolves. Vampires, werewolves, none of that. I didn't I didn't want to hear that. I just wanted to be witches. You know, it, it had a it, it had a pretty good, you know, plot to go on. I didn't like the love triangles either. I just I, I didn't care for the love triangle, you know. And I say because it was sitting around the whole But I, I did a review for it, so I'm not gonna to talk too much about it. I did a review for it, and I'll put the view on the eye so you guys can go and check it out. 
as well as in the description bar if you guys want to go and check that out. Um, I'll link the review. But the Wicked Walk is supposed to be about this girl named Anika. She's thinking about going down the Wicked Pathway, and it's not something that you know a lot of people like look up upon and kind of look down on the Wiccans. And she wants to go and find a Wiccan teacher to teach her, you know, how to do Wiccan to like introduce her to the Wiccan world and it's basically about her journey on becoming Wiccan and learning all these you know things and rules and you know just learning and finding out that there's like this like this this dark like thing this dark evil and just this presence that that's, that's going on like something bad is about to happen I did a way better job at explaining in my review the last book that I read in the month of May a Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. And oh my god, y'all. Okay, this is 5 out of 5 stars. I love this damn book. And this is also a book that I buddy read. I did my first buddy read, y'all. And I found a logo to buddy read it with. And that never happens. I found her through Goodreads. So I was like, fuck the fuck up, y'all. And her name is Missy. Her YouTube channel is 80 Pie Reads. No, 80 Pie Bookworm. Sorry, girl. But um, I'll link her channel in the description box. It's really cool. The buddy read didn't go exactly how we planned it to go, but it went, okay? <laughs> it, it, we kind of lost lost touch. It was our work schedule. It's not crazy, but we still buddy read, okay? And it was my first buddy read. I had fun. Like, I never, you know, buddy read with somebody, like, you know, chapter by chapter. Unless it was, like, you know, in a book club or something like for school where we had to, like, check in every few chapters. I love that because I could actually discuss what I'm feeling in this moment. I love doing that. It was so much fun. I love this book so much. I just, I'm ready for the third book. And I'm ready for a freaking novella for Izzy. I, just, I don't even need one for every character. I just want a novella for Izzy. I, that's all I want. Y'all, like, I love this book so much. This was my best, my favorite book I read last month. I love this book so freaking much. It was amazing. I can't wait till the next book come out. And please, please, please listen to my request and just do a novella for Izzy. Do it for Izzy. Do it for Izzy. That's all I want. Failure does not define you. It's what you do after you fail that determines if you're a good leader or a perfectly good waste of space. I think I said it on a T. I I might not have. But that is my favorite quote out of that book. I read that. I was so inspired. I read that at work. And I was like, yes, we're going to get this through. We're going to get through the day with this. I was behind the register. Like, I really read this book mostly at work. That's how much I was at work reading this book. My job is lost in mine. I was at work behind my register reading it between customers. I was like, oh, my God. At one point, I got really mad with the book and closed it and went put it in my locker and, like, refused to read it for 24 hours. Like, I didn't I didn't go back to it that day. I didn't read the day after that. Like, it, I really had to get myself together because I really got mad. Oh, my God, y'all, this book was it was good. Um, I want to hear y'all thoughts. Y'all that has read this book already. You know, let's talk about it. Um, kind of leave out some spoilers, I guess. Or we could go on Goodreads or you can hit me up the messages. I never use the messages, you know, thing on YouTube or whatever. I just don't want to spoil anyone, but I want to talk about it because it was so good, y'all. I love this book. So, those are all of the books that I read last month. And I really did have a really good reading month. Like, especially A Torch Against Tonight. That was the best book I read last month. Had to be. And I'm so happy I got to buddy do my first buddy read with a local. And, um, it's amazing. It's, like, so hard to find Louisiana booktubers. I found two. <laughs> Literally, I found two. It's, um, Missy from 80 Pie Bookworm and Whitney from A Darker Shade of Whitney, which I'm gonna do a tag after this that she made. I'm gonna do a tag after that. But it's so hard to find Louisiana booktubers. Like, I, I don't know. I wanted, like, a call and all, like, a, a, a all call for Louisiana booktubers. Like, because I want to really find more locals. Like, it's like all the booktubers are in Texas or in the UK. <laughs> Mostly in the UK. Or in maybe in LA and some in New York. It's hard to find some southern booktubers. It really is. Okay? And we are out here. I know we're out there. It can't just be us three. I know there has to be more of us out there. I just, we have to find each other. It's like going through like a dark room playing hide and seek, y'all. Like, oh my god. But guys, thanks for watching my video. Don't know my venting. Thanks for listening to me. Thanks for sticking around for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.